Great God in heaven, you are worthy to be praise and worship for your marvelous work and never-ending love. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to once again study your word. May your Holy Spirit Lord will enlighten our minds so we can fathom your message. Please forgive our shortcomings O oh God, and help us worthy to be called your children. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Fear not. Over and over again, the Bible tells us not to be afraid. In fact, fear not is the most repeated command in the Bible. God does not want his children to live in fear. And yet most people, if they are being honest, struggle with facing their fears. People fear all sorts of things, such as snakes, spiders, flying on a plane, elephants, heights or auto accidents. Others have more personal fears such as rejection, failure, public speaking, or dying. But there's a reason that God doesn't want his children to be afraid. Living in a constant state of fear will prevent you from accomplishing your goals, being the person God wants you to be, and most of all, it will keep you from trusting God. When David was fighting the Philistines and started to feel afraid, instead of succumbing to paralyzing fear, he turned to God and said in Psalm 56, 3-4, When I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? Putting faith over fear can sound like a cliché or something you put on a t-shirt, but you really can claim this victory by releasing all your worries and stress to Jesus. Choosing to trust is just that, a choice. When fear and anxiety threaten to overcome you, claim God's promise in Psalm 23, 1. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me.